hey what's up y'all we back with another video so this we're doing readings on venus through the houses placements um i just think a lot of people need a lot more clarity on this we know that venus everybody's obsessed with venus everybody is obsessed with venus everybody wants to know how their venus works so they can attract more money and more love into their lives because venus is what attracts love and money so understanding the house that your venus is in is very important and today we're going to be talking about venus in the fourth house so first we're going to start with the bad bad gal oracle we're just going to look at archetypes um for venus in the fourth house um actually no we're not going to start with the bad girl oracle we're going to start with the archetypes cards and just look at the archetypes of venus in the fourth house Venus in the fourth, Venus in the fourth. Okay. Turn my phone on. Do not disturb, honey, because they be trying to interrupt. Okay, so um, Venus in the fourth house archetypes, please. Show me Venus in the fourth house archetypes. Venus in the fourth house archetypes. Yeah, there's a lot of decks I'm seeing that I want to pull from. Storyteller. Okay, so this makes sense. So as a lot of you guys may know, Jupiter is exalted in Cancer. So it's also exalted in the fourth house, in my opinion. So Jupiter, or sorry, Storyteller card as one of their archetypes. I'm just seeing like family sitting around the living room on a holiday, Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter and like Venus in the fourth house, like connecting with their family, telling them stories, laughing, reminiscing about the past. Oh my God, Venus in the fourth loves reminiscing about the past. Honey, let me tell you, I'm just getting that as a huge message right now. Like they love reminiscing about the past and they love telling stories about the past. Venus in the fourth house, chime in down below if this is you, baby. They love telling stories and I'm also getting, this is so weird, but I'm also getting like grandpa, grandma energy around Venus in the fourth. Like they have like a grandfather, grandmother energy. If you're a man, you have like a grandfather energy. If you're a woman, you have grandmother energy. And like, that's how people treat you as well. And I'm also seeing Venus in the fourth is looked at as an elder amongst their community. Yes, Venus in the fourth is looked at as an elder because fourth house cancer is parental energy. It's a parental sign. Okay, spirit. But I'm seeing just like Venus in the fourth has a lot of wisdom. I'm seeing they're very patient, very laid back, very laid back. Show me Venus in the fourth rescuer they love to rescue people yes it's not just pisces 12th house people that like to rescue people fourth house cancer loves to rescue people as well yeah they're always rescuing like family members people that are lost at sea i'm just seeing lost souls like they they rescue lost souls i'm also seeing like they just feel sorry for people a lot like they do they feel sorry for people that are drowning in the waters so that's why I'm doing the Venus in the water houses first, because we're talking about water energy. And um, I think we got the rescuer card for Venus in the eighth as well. And then it's like we already know Venus in the 12th is a rescuer. So it's like I feel like all the water signs are rescuers in some way, shape or form. Um, yeah, but anyways, yeah, they like rescuing people from like deep waters or people that are crying like, oh, my God, if you're crying, like that's the best and easiest way to get like Venus in the fourth house under on your side. They they do succumb to tears. So it's like <laughs> this sounds messed up, but it's like if you want to manipulate a Venus in the fourth house, honey, get the waterworks going because like they will fall for that. Like they can't stand to see people cry. Venus in the fourth cannot stand to see people cry, but then also Venus in the fourth is very intuitive. So it's like, they're going to know if you're faking it. They're going to know if you're faking it. So they're going to know if your tears are coming from a real place or not. But if your tears are coming from a real place, like they're going to do whatever they can to save you. Mm. But I'm just seeing, I'm just getting like family members though. Like you have to be somebody that feels like family to them. 
<clears throat> because that's the difference between Cancer and Pisces. Pisces is like a savior for the entire world, but Cancer is only going to save their close intimates, like the people that they have an intimate connection with. They're not here for the entire world. They're here for like their close circle. You know, that's the difference between Cancer and Pisces. What's going on out in the world, like Cancer's not concerned with. Um, okay, so show me Venus in the fourth house. Don Juan. Okay, I'm actually seeing that they are lover boys and lover girls. Like they are. They love love. They're very romantic. Venus in the fourth house is very freaking romantic. Like they will wine and dine you. They will bring you roses. They like planning out dates. They like doing like fun date ideas too. Like fun date ideas. Like they'll come up with like a whole plan. Yeah, they'll plan it out. Like they might take you to theater. They might take you to theater. They might take you salsa dancing. Like they, they actually have really good date ideas. Venus in the fourth has really good date ideas. If you want to go on like a good date, get with you a Venus in the fourth house. They're going to take you on a good date. Like it's going to be different too. Like they're really good at coming up with like unique date ideas and like they really um if they really love someone or like they're really into someone they're going to get creative with it yeah that's what it is their venus in the fourth house is very creative when it comes to like romance and dating and shit like they are the type that's going to plan a picnic you know across the bridge and like have the you know roses they may have a violinist playing the violin by the water like while you guys look at the view like yes honey they get creative with it baby let me tell you baby let me tell you okay i'm kind of hold on now i'm kind of digging venus in the fall honey venus in the fall might need to come holla okay hold on okay let me stop let me stop let me stop <laughs> this ain't this ain't true b's personal dating service even though i do want to start a dating service fyi i do want to stay start like a matchmaking service because i just love shit like that but anyway show me venus in the fourth honey king okay venus in the fourth okay venus in the fourth look at me hyping y'all up but hold on though y'all got king like excuse me um okay this is showing me like a strong sense of responsibility in their relationship so like if you're dating a venus in the fourth house man like he's gonna be hella chivalrous and he's gonna act as a motherfucking king like they have a very strong sense of responsibility in their relationships like they know how to step into that uh responsible role and like just basically be like the, the royal that they were fucking meant to be in a relationship yeah when you get with venus in the fourth house you're getting with a royal but i'm also seeing that they follow protocol though venus in the fourth follows like royal protocol so it's like there's a certain way that they do things like that's why i said with this don juan card they're gonna plan out their dates a specific way and honey yeah they have a protocol that they follow yeah and they're picky too Honey, with this king card, Venus in the fourth is very picky. Like, they're not just going to get with anybody. Honey, you thought. You thought wrong, baby. They're not just going to get with anybody. Like, they're very, very picky about who they let into their life. And also this... <clears throat> so, these readings are about Venus in the houses, you guys. But also, it's just about the house in general as well. Like, you, if you have any fourth house energy, you may be able to relate to this reading as well. So, that's just FYI. But it's mainly about like I'm asking about v Venus in the houses, but I'm seeing that this information is like trickling down to like other fourth house placements as well. So as, as a fourth house person, you may be able to relate to this reading, <clears throat> especially if you have personal planets, even like Jupiter, though, even if you have Jupiter in the fourth. Yeah, it could be any placement, really, but especially the inner planets. Show me Venus in the fourth. Okay, I like them. I like them. Damsel. Okay, we got king and then we got damsel. Okay, so yes, they do play victim sometimes. But I'm seeing that they only play victim when they're not getting their needs met in a relationship. Venus in the fourth house becomes very sad when they do not receive like the proper attention, the proper care in their relationships. Like they get very freaking sad. And they get down on themselves yeah and they will drag it 
they will drag it. Like, for instance, like if for their birthday or something like that, like you don't get them a gift or you don't call them and wish them happy birthday. You don't take them out to dinner. Like they're going to be very sad and hurt about that. And they're, they're going to mope about it for a few days, maybe even a few weeks for the ones that are dramatic. Like if you got Venus and Leo in the floor for some shit. But <clears throat> they really get their feelings hurt when like people don't like remember certain sentimental things about them. People don't like give them the proper praise. Like, you know, for all the stuff that they do, they get very sad about it and they will drag you down like energetically for not <clears throat> for not acknowledging certain things. And I'm just specifically seeing like birthdays and holidays being very important to them. Like Mother's Day, if you're a woman and you have kids, like it's very important for you. Like if you know your close intimates because fourth house is about your close intimates. If your close intimates don't like, you know, go out their way to make you feel special on Mother's Day, like you're going to be very hurt by that. Yeah. Same thing with the men, Father's Day. Like, you know, that type of shit means that they, I'm definitely picking up Venus in the fourth house is the small things that matter to them. It's the small like acts of kindness and acknowledgement. Venus in the fourth. I love this series, you guys. Virgin. Okay. Yeah. I said that they're picky about who they have around them. Is that not what I said? I said they're picky about who they have around them. Virgin. Yeah, they're very sensitive too. Venus in the fourth house is very sensitive. They don't like icks. They don't like icky energy. They don't like nasty energy. They um they wear their hearts on their sleeves though, but they're very, very sensitive. Like, oh my goodness, so sensitive. Venus and Cancer. I mean, Venus and this can work for Venus and Cancer as well. This can work for Venus and Cancer. So priority is Venus in the fourth, but it can also transfer over to the fourth house placements and it can also transfer over to Venus and Cancer also. Just take what resonates, leave what don't. Um, okay, so we're going to a new deck now. Show me Venus in the fourth house energies. Show me Venus in the fourth house energies, please. Healing, yeah. Okay, so I'm seeing Venus in the fourth house needs a longer time period to heal from heartbreak than other Venus in the house's signs. They're very slow to heal. I'm also seeing Venus in the fourth house is very slow to get into new relationships as well. Very slow to get into new relationships after a breakup. Like they'll be single for like two, three years, four or five years even. They, they also practice celibacy as well with the virgin card. They practice celibacy like in between relationships. Because mm -hmm. Venus in the fourth house cannot overload themselves. Because remember, they're the virgin. They have sensitive energy. They cannot overload themselves with like too much stimuli. Yeah, that's too much for them. Y'all, I'm helping y'all the hell out right now, y'all. Put you guys like this video, okay? Like and share too. So show me... Yes, in the fourth. This is interesting, though. This has been the most interesting one I've done so far. Confusion. Yeah. <clears throat> the Venus in the fourth house can be very confused. But that's because of interference. Like I said, if they have too many people interfering in their lives, interfering in their energy, they can get very, very confused very easily. Especially when they're in that healing phase. So it's best, like, listen, when a Venus in the fourth house needs to heal, like, they just need to be a hermit crab. Allow yourself fourth house energies, cancer energies. You guys need to go in a hermit crab mode because it's like if you guys mix your energies with too many people, it brings a confusing cloud over your life. <clears throat> so steer clear of like a lot of stimuli when you're trying to heal. <clears throat> Show me Venus in the fourth. Friendship. Okay, so I'm seeing Venus in the fourth needs to be friends with their lovers before a serious relationship they need to be friends first and i'm seeing yeah venus in the fourth is like venus and taurus venus in the second house they're very slow to like get into relationships as well they need to form like a friendship you need to take them on several dates the friendship card is under the don juan card like baby you gotta wine and dine them i'm seeing specifically for the women with this placement you guys it's like i'm like if you guys are heterosexual or if you guys are the same sex, it doesn't matter. They need to take you on several 
dates like first and nothing happening nothing happening because the virgin card is here nothing happening you're very slow to like warm up to a person so they need to take you on like five dates before like you'll <clears throat> like open up more to them or have sex with them or whatever the case may be so it's like a slow build it's a slow burn with venus in the fourth it's a slow burn baby they're not gonna give it up too easily honey they're not going to give it up too easily. Okay, so we're showing <clears throat> Venus in the fourth. Detachment. Okay, and they can be very detached when they want to be. Yeah. Okay, hold on now because you guys know fourth house comes before fifth house, right? Cancer comes before Leo. So they do have a little bit of undercover ego about themselves. Because I'm seeing if they're not being treated the right way, this king card, their royal energy kicks in. Because a lot of people don't know this. And um, I don't know if I've said this before on a live, but like, the sun and the moon are the royals of the zodiac. Like they are the luminaries. They are the royals. The sun and the moon. People don't look at the moon as being a royal, but the moon is like the subconscious feminine royal energy. And uh, the sun obviously is like the masculine solar force kingly energy. So... <clears throat> Cancer, fourth house energy are royals. So it's like when they're not being treated accordingly, honey, they're going to detach from you. I pulled the detachment card. Yeah, and they're quick to put you in the friend zone. Woo, let me tell you, Venus in the fourth house is quick to put you in the friend zone, baby. If they're not getting the royal treatment, the king card, you have to give Venus in the fourth the royal treatment. I'm also seeing they're spoiled too. Venus in the fourth house is spoiled. Like you have to spoil them. Yes, you have to spoil them, honey. They're a pampered royal, let me tell you. And if you're not spoiling them in the correct way, honey, they're going to detach from you. Yeah, they have no problem detaching and putting up boundaries. Look, separation. Venus in the fourth house will leave you quick as fuck. Like, let me just tell you, baby. They will leave you quick as fuck, okay? If you play with them, they will leave you quick as fuck. Yeah, they don't play that. Venus in the fourth house is very picky. Honey, it's giving bougie. <laughs> Venus in the fourth is giving bougie, okay? Yeah, don't play with them. If you, honey, gonna step to Venus in the fourth, have all your ducks in a row. You better come with that romance. You better come with that chivalry. You better come with that treating them like a king or a queen or else, sweetie, because they're not having anything less, honey. And they're gonna pout about it and make you feel bad about it. And then they're gonna leave you and detach from you like, baby... They don't play that. I need about that shell around them. Okay. The shell represents the boundary. Okay, so honey, let me tell you. Their opposite sign is the sign of boundaries. Okay, so um show me last pull for Venus in the fourth. I loved this reading. Show me Venus in the fourth, please. Venus in the fourth. Venus in the fourth. Yeah, they change their mind a lot in relationships. Six of Swords. Venus and the Four change their mind a lot. So it's like they're not really stable in like their affections for a person. It's very easy for them to like switch their mindset on or off about a person. It's very easy for them to like switch it up on you. <laughs> Let me tell you. You, you be thinking you all in with them and you're only halfway in. Yeah, because it takes them a while to let someone fully in. I'm seeing like almost two years. Like you be thinking that you're in with Venus in the fourth, but you're not. You're only like halfway there, but you think that you're all the way in. Yeah, you have to go through a lot of like tests and trials with them to like fully be in to accept it. Show me Venus in the fourth. Yes, honey, Venus in the fourth. Okay, Seven of Cups, Illusions Under. Okay, so they do have like a Piscean energy. Fourth house and 12th house people are very similar is what I'm seeing. Because like this cloudy energy and this fantasy and illusions, they do have that. They do idealize too. They idealize and they um, there's like a cloud of confusion around them when it comes to relationships. Venus and they don't be knowing how they feel and then they go back and forth like a motherfucker in relationships the lover's card yeah the lover's card venus in the fourth watch out too because i'm seeing three ray relationship energy watch out for people that be telling you like they got a lot of female friends or a lot of male friends because those are not their fucking friends they're messing with them 
Yeah, I'm seeing three-way relationships. Venus in the fourth house can attract a lot of uh, three-way relationships. Basically, what I'm seeing is that you guys can attract people that aren't fully done with their exes or fully done with their past relationships. So Venus in the fourth, because keep in mind, fourth house rules the past. I'm seeing like baby mama, baby daddy energy. Oh my God, I'm seeing baby mama, baby daddy energy around Venus in the fourth. So it's like, if it's a man, like he may have a lot of baby mamas, like, and he may still be connected to his past in some type of way. Yeah, because Venus in the fourth is always connected to their past in some type of way. So it's like, you got to be careful with them because they most likely still have like a really good relationship with their baby mama or whatever, or their baby dad if they're a woman. And it's like, they haven't really fully let go and yeah i'm just seeing a bunch of people hanging on from the past with them so you have to be you have to make sure they completely cut ties with their past before you get in a relationship with venus in the fourth because they always kind of leave a door open for their past little flings or whatever or their past relationships yeah they always have a connection with their past relationships which is just like cancer in general because I know that's me, honey. I, I'm like connected to all my exes, which I know is a red flag for a lot of people. But I don't freaking know why. Like, I honestly don't know. So yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, they can have a lot of drama. Oh my God, they can have so much drama from people from their past. Yeah, Venus in the fourth, you need to detach from people from your past. Because I'm seeing the people from the past still be wanting you. Yeah, they still be wanting you. And then they still be manipulating you too. Oh my God, Venus in the fourth house. Your exes be fucking obsessed with you. They be still trying to be in a relationship with you. Are still trying to keep their hooks in you. And then I'm just seeing if Venus in the fourth house children with somebody else, honey, you need to be very careful. Because let me tell you, they still got ties with. I don't know why I keep, like I said, I keep getting the baby mom, baby daddy energy. They still have ties because like anything that feels like family to them, they're going to be deeply emotionally connected with. So you got to be careful, sweetie, for those of you that are dating Venus in the fourth. Okay, because this is for everybody. This is for Venus in the fourth and this is for people dating Venus in the fourth or in a relationship with Venus in the fourth. Okay. So anyway, y'all, let me know what you thought about this. I love this series. Um, I'm not sure who I'm going to do next. Let's put down below who you guys want me to do next. Venus in the earth signs, Venus in the fire signs, or Venus in the air signs. I might do a poll just to see like which one y'all want the most. All right, take care.